rugby league to me is a family sport, it's a universal language and it's a family bond. There's great rivalry between towns and teams, but at the end of the day, we all love the game and it brings us all together. It's awesome to be a part of any sport, but especially this sport, everyone's real close. It's family. What's the most important thing in life? Family. There's a lot of things that come with it that people don't see. I've been relegated, I've been through administration, all these things, they do take a toll on you and put an awful lot of stress on you. I've suffered from depression for 12 years and two and a half years ago I was borderline suicidal. A phone call to a friend stopped me doing something stupid. The biggest killer of young men in this country is suicide. One thing can just throw them and hit them so hard. They reach desperation very quickly. Mental health is your ability to deal with the ups and downs of life. The importance for me is encouraging people to try to build their mental fitness. You cannot physically perform on the rugby pitch if you are not mentally well. You could train all week and be the fittest on the field, but if something's not right at home, then it doesn't work on the field. People think, because you're a sportsman, life is all oh, perfect you're each and every day. Nothing ever goes wrong, you're in the public eye. And I think it affects sportsmen in, in ways that you would never imagine. I was on antidepressants and not for a while. I didn't want to tell anybody about things. I wouldn't do the everyday things that I would. I didn't find the need to get out of bed anymore. What was the point? you know, and going on. If you're feeling anything like that, you need to seek help or you need to speak to somebody. You need to stop being this, this macho person, thinking, you know, I can deal with it myself because it doesn't work like that. Those sort of feelings are some people maybe a bit embarrassed or a bit ashamed to, to actually say that, I mean, I'm struggling here, I need a bit of help. I myself went and saw a psychologist. It just felt really good to talk to somebody. It's got to come out. You know, we've got to stop saying, oh, you know, don't cry, man up, all, all this rubbish. We've, we've got to face the fact that there are guys from all ages that are suffering from depression and it kills. Nobody is immune from hitting a hard time. But the secret is to go somewhere and talk to somebody and start getting it resolved. When I was uh, 20 years old, I was engaged to a girl who died of cancer and that was a particularly difficult time as a young man, but I found the belief was a great support, being part of that team and having blokes who look after me. I'm going through a divorce and it's not very nice, but the parents have been wonderful and I wouldn't have had that support had I not volunteered to be a team manager. It's great to watch the kids as well. The buzz of watching these lads what they get from the sport, that essentially to me is what rugby league is. You feel happy, especially if you're winning or like Sometimes you feel upset if you're losing, but you feel determined. Like I've had a bad day at school or something, and then obviously on Wednesdays and Fridays I've got to train, and it makes you feel a lot better, yeah. The idea of getting kids to be a part of a team, taking some responsibility, promotes self-esteem, and it's fun. And fun is really important in, in this stressful life we live. Just being with the lads, just having them there, it is a community and there's nobody at the club or there's nobody that I know through rugby that you couldn't speak to, you couldn't talk to. You don't find that in every sport and that's why I think rugby league's probably the greatest game and the fact that I think our family's fantastic. They say the problem shared is a problem halved. Definitely agree with that. I'm hoping that by doing this, if it reaches one person, that they go and talk to their coach, their friend, to their girlfriend, to their best friend, then that's what it's all about.